Welcome to Bayou Time. I'm Jacob DeGate. It's that time of year for the over and under tunnel run. And I have right here, we have uh, the race director, Caddy Stratman, Robichaux, and we also have Elmi Savoy, who is the executive director for the Foundation for Terrebonne General Health System. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having us. All right, uh, Caddy, for, for those who are unfamiliar, can you tell us a little bit, what is the over and under yes. uh, tunnel run? Again, and thank you for having us. No We're really excited to be here to talk about the tunnel run. Um, as it says, over and under tunnel run, it is a 5K tunnel run, which goes over the Twins fans and under the tunnel run. Uh, we're celebrating 47 years this year, um, and it's a longstanding nonprofit race here in the community. Um, it benefits the Foundation for Terrible General Health System. Uh, so that's kind of just a quick overview of what we're here to talk sure. about today, yes. Okay, and how did the race get started? You mentioned 47 years ago or so? Yes, yeah, so Dr. Dickey started this race 47 years ago uh, just to really um, get out in the community, show support of community, um, and healthy lifestyle was one of mm -hmm. the most important things for him, to really get out and tell people that, you know, you can have fun and you can still have a healthy lifestyle, um, and just to support the community members uh, and any organizations that needed help within the community. All right, and Elmi, let me ask you, uh, how do the funds, or how are the funds used by the Terrible General Health System? So, the, actually, all the funds raised from the, the race actually stay 100% here in this parish. And it's to help um, promote health and wellness programs within the community, um, such as we have a program called Sudden Impact, which is a program where um, students, um, 10th graders, 11th graders are actually taught um, about distracted driving. It's a great program. It's free of charge. Um, it's a, that's just one of the programs. We have some other ones where, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that Terrebonne General, through our Community Sports Institute, actually provides athletic trainers to all the different sports events in our community, and that's free of charge, you know, and this is, this is all to help benefit programs like that so that we can continue to provide and promote healthy living in our community. All right, and, and you're the executive director of the foundation. What, what is the, uh, the mission of, of the foundation? So the mission, again, is to promote health and wellness in, in our community, and we're the philanthropic arm of Terrebonne General Health System. So most of our programs, whether that's to help a patient um, who, may, who may have some needs, um, or our NICU, our littlest patients, which is our, our babies in mm -hmm. the um, neonatal intensive care unit, sometimes their families are, um, are in need during that, that time period while they're at, at the hospital. Um, all these different programs are all things that are funded, that are provided um, from the foundation. All right, and Caddy, let me, before, during the break, we're talking a little bit about, you know, the, the over and under, and it never occurred to me what that actually meant, uh, in that it, it's, you're going over the <laughs> intercoastal and then also underneath the intercoastal as well. Yes, it's uh, something that we think is very awesome. It's very unique to our race. We don't think there is anyone else that can <laughs> claim that or tout that, but um, it's really the only race that does that thing. So it's really awesome. It's a, it's a tough race, um, going over the overpasses. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's not the easiest thing. It's challenging depending if the wind's out and then coming through the tunnel. So it's definitely very unique to, um, to most runners out there. They've never done anything like okay. it. So. And how long have you been involved with, with the race itself? So I've been involved with the race for about 15 years. So um, when Dr. Dickey Haydell started this, like we said, 47 years ago, um, he's always partnered with other nonprofits or community partnerships where the money needed you know, was much needed. So it's gone to different places between, you know, Cancer Society, American Heart Association, and we've just been very fortunate. Um, I think it's been, this is the third year, possibly the fourth, I think the third year that it's now benefiting the Foundation for Terrible in General. And that shift was made because we wanted um, to really be able to partner locally where all the proceeds were to stay here in the community. A lot of our donors um, and participants um, kind of encouraged that along the way. So. All right, and I think we have a flyer for the uh, the run right here. If we can put it up on the screen to see when it takes place, it's this Saturday, April 9th. Is that right? Yep. And uh, how can people sign up for the race itself? So they can sign up um, online. Uh, the website is 
Let me get to it really quick. Runsignup.com slash Homa Tunnel Run. Just like it's spelled, runsignup.com slash Homa Tunnel Run. We do have a Facebook page as well under Homa Tunnel Run, so you can go to the Facebook page as well. The information is there where you can click on the link to register for the race. Um, you can also print out a registration form online if you'd rather mail in your registration form, or you can register online. Um, it's really a great event. We've got lots of fun things to do. Um, you can come out with your kids, very family friendly. We'll have lots of great food. We have drinks, um, bounce house things for the kids to do. We'll have a DJ. So it's a really um, a great celebration afterwards just to celebrate, you know, what we have all come together to do to raise the money for the foundation. So. Um, and is that the, at the end of the event to where yes. everybody, and where yes. does that take place? So at? that's at the end of the event. So uh, the event will be at the Homey Municipal Auditorium. That's where it starts. Um, and really quick pre-registration uh, race bag pickup starts at 1 p.m. You can also register day of. Majority, we've got a lot of people that come out day mm -hmm. of to register. So that starts at 1. Uh, the kids fun run starts at 2. We do have a one mile kids fun run at 2. And then 2.30 is the actual event. Uh, where their race starts so okay and, and it, it starts at Shady Acres Park so right behind the auditorium awesome. you walk through to the park and that's where the um, start and finish line is okay and how, how long does about the race take generally oh gosh so 5k <laughs> I mean it just depends I mean you have people that are finishing it in close to six minutes I think is, oh lord does that make sense like the winners I'm thinking and then I mean we have some people that come in 20 minutes it just depends I mean we have a whole gamut you can run walk um, again doesn't matter what your level is um, you can't have any we get this every year we can't have any strollers or roller blades on the 5k the one mile fun run you can but not on the 5k since it goes over the overpass and through the tunnel oh. just for safety reasons um, you know no strollers but do bring your kids out um, so all right well thank you all very much for joining us and we wish you all the best of luck thank you so thank much you. Right. stay tuned for more right here on HTV.